from Disney Animation and the groundbreaking storytellers of Kugali. Happy birthday, Tola. This is our team. You want that story, pet? It's great. You know, at the heart of everything that we do at Disney is great storytelling and great creativity, as well as innovation. That's the, the cornerstone of what we do as a company, whether that be in our television series, in our book products, in our gaming business, in our theme parks, it all comes back to great storytelling. And I think that is what the team at Walt Disney Animation Studios saw in the Kugali team. They had an amazing story to tell in Iwaju. And I think the rest just came from there. We were able to connect those dots and, and it was a great collaboration. And we're so excited to be here tonight in this beautiful city to celebrate the launch. I think that in today's world, it's so much easier now to have, to have access to, to, to talent and to stories. And the, the story of how Iwaju started for us is, is exactly that. It was uh, one of the executives at Walt Disney Animation Studios saw an interview with one of the members of the team of Kugali, and he was talking about the work that they do. And then the rest is history. We were able to connect those dots and start that collaboration. And I think that's the power of, of today, where we are actually interconnected in a way that we never were before. It is much harder being a voice actor than being an, a regular actor because when when you are acting the normal film, I mean you have you have um you have a lot of things. You are using all of your body. You understand? You are, you, you have costume is helping you, props are helping you, you understand? You have um, uh, uh, movement, I mean, you are being seen, do you understand? So you get to use every part of your body, your facial expression and everything, but when you are voice acting, here's, here's the twist, it is all of those things, but you are just in one cubicle, do you understand? So you have to con con convey the costume you are wearing, your personality, your courage, your gesture, all of those things that you would have done on camera, your gestures, you know, you have to convey all of that through your voice. So it is much harder. It is much harder, but trust me, it is much more exciting. Especially if you are somebody like me who is very, very playful. I love playing. I mean, I love cartoons. I mean, I've been a fan of cartoons from right away. I have a crazy cartoon collection in my house. You will not believe. Let me not even go there. You know, so, I mean, for me, it's really exciting. You know, if you love to play, act a lot, stand in front of the and do stuff, trust me, it makes it easier for you as a, as, as a voice actor. You are doing all of those things, but the only medium or the only thing that is carrying all of that across for you at the end of the day is your voice. And that's the beauty of it. I have never done this before, so this is my first time, which is why more excitement. It's my first time. It's my first premiere ever. At first, I was a little scared, but after a few seconds, I got into the rhythm. It was exciting. It was fun. Tola is a lot like me, so it was easy to kind of relate to some of her experiences. Yeah. Why, why did you say that? Because at the time I started recording, I was 10, Tola is 10, so the same age, also magically that one is already, but also she's really adventurous, she's, she's convincing, she's caring, she's kind, she looks out for other people, and yeah. The thing that was surprising about this story is how it happened. We always had huge ambitions, we always knew one day we were going to tell stories at this scale and at this level but we didn't know when it was going to happen and we didn't know how it was going to happen so it's so funny that after calling disney out things end up going this way but the truth is that once we made contact with disney it was very clear that there was v synergy on both parts disney animation exists to empower storytellers and we at kugali want to tell the best stories so it was a match made in heaven iwaju is a love letter to lagos meaning that we needed to showcase the things we love about Lagos, the things we find annoying about Lagos. If you take all those things out of the story, then Iwaju would no longer be about Lagos. So we had to maintain every aspect of Lagos culture, even though we were setting this about a hundred years in the future, things would have changed, but we kept all the core elements of Lagos life. We're going to kick this in Africa. I know that's going to happen. It was a very weird interaction for us, but natural for them. Because, as you can expect, it was me who said I was going to kick the asses. When you tell somebody you're going to kick the asses, you don't expect them to come to you with a smile. But when they approached us, they were curious to who we were as storytellers. And we had conversations for about a few months. And from those conversations, we realized they share the same vision of us of telling authentic African stories. So it, was, it felt very natural. As a process, although in the beginning, obviously, in the back of your head is like, hmm, are they trying something here? But it turns out they were just absolutely lovely people. <laughs> Nigeria is such a rich landscape 
of different uh, kaleidoscopes, so to speak, of cultures and creativity, talent. We have the content. The whole world is looking to Nigeria for our talent and for our content. And it's great potential that we can tap into. So my role here is to really work with people in the industry. They know the pulse. They feel the pulse of the industry. So we have come up with a fantastic um, policy framework and a structure, but that structure can only work with the input from people in the industry. That was why it was important to populate the, my team and people that was going to work within the agencies, the MDAs, with people that are in the industry and are very active in the industry, right? And this is what we've done. And that is not to say that is the end of it. We'll continue to have stakeholder engagements to see how we can continue to populate, or rather to add value to this um, great structure that we want to set up and foundation for the industry. And I think the sky is our limit. This is where our real estate is, and this is where our future lies. The young demographic need this industry to grow, and I'm here to give them all the support for that. Go! Actually, kind of cute. I take that back.